Hello, well, hello, YouTube lads. I just want to have a quick chat about Conan the Barbarian of Ironwood. Uh, number 19, and the new one is out today. Uh, there it is, number 20. I spell 19 because it's last month's. Um, I'll talk a little bit about 20, but I won't, I won't tell you exactly what happens at the end. I just want to say, um, straight off the bat, that the artwork is not as good as King Conan. This one is King Conan. If I show you some of the artwork in King Conan, it's mm, superior. Superior artwork. That's just a random page. It's got an old school quality. You know, it looks like um, the artist has spent a long, long time doing the pencils on it. So if I get a, a larger panel, you might be able to see the, uh, the quality. A bit better. There we go, that's a good page. This is King Conan. And the artist is... Um, I think you should remember his name. The artist is Thomas um, Giovello. So, um, for the art um, in um, Conan the Barbarian to compare to that, it has to be pretty damn good, wouldn't it? It's not as good. It's If I just um, pick a random page again. See the difference? So, you know, first off, off the bat, the artwork is not as good. Doesn't mean it's bad artwork, though. Um, I was reading the The art is by um, Paul... As a kisser. Yeah, as I was reading through the comments, the art, um, art works perfectly in, 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 you know, in keeping with the story. It doesn't detract from it at all. It's good. It's um, it's different. It's not your, your usual Marvel or DC artwork, but it's it's not bad different. It's just different, that's all. It's okay, and, and as I was reading both these comments, I was you know, getting used to it, so it's okay. So what about the actual um, Conan the Barbarian character himself? Is he, a bit, is, he a bit, is he a bit of a wuss in this book, as people are saying? Not really. Um, he's, he's got a girl with him. The girl's called Delit. Um, Delit is um, an actual character in Robert E. Howard's um, original Conan books. So she, she hasn't just been invented by by Brian Woods to put a bit of female interest in there. She's a you know real real um, Conan character. She's a pirate queen. Quite an aggressive um, warrior, really. Bloodthirsty warrior. You know, queen of the queen of the pirates. So um, her hanging out with Conan makes makes perfect sense, really. Why wouldn't a, a, a bloodthirsty pirate queen hang out with Conan? And another thing to remember, of course, is that the Conan in this book is a young Conan, um, a very young Conan. And the, the one in King Conan is obviously um, he's a king, isn't he? You know, he's been around for a bit. So this, this is a guy who's just um, making his way in the world. He has, probably doesn't even know who he is yet. He's just having his, his first adventures. So you know, bear that in mind when um, when people say that. And this Conan isn't a real Conan. It is a real Conan, just a young Conan, that's all. Anyway, I'll, I'll quickly go through the um, issue number 19 and tell you what happens in, in this book. And at, at the beginning of the book... There we go, that'd be a different colour. There we go. At the, the uh, beginning of this book, we have Conan and Billet. And telling the tale of how they got the... The Black Stones. This, this um, book's called Black Stones. This is Black Stones Part 1. They've got these Black Stones um, um, same way the pirates get a lot of things. They stole them. <laughs> they attacked a ship, killed everyone on board. These, these are not good people. Bowling hand and bellies are not good people. They're pirates. They'll kill you to steal your things. Uh, yeah, not pleasant people. They steal these Black Stones. Then they go to a local village. There they are in the bar. Or the tavern. <laughs> And they try to flog them, these black stones. They don't know what they are, but they just know they, 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 um, you know, they might be quite valuable. Um, someone upsets um, Conan's missus, and that's it. And she can look after herself. And there she is. Stabbing a man's hand through the table because she insulted her. And uh, I'll tell you what, he deserved it. He was pretty, it was pretty insulting. Basically called her a whore and asked, uh, asked Conan how much. So yeah, good for you, Billet. And um, lots of uh, chopping going on here as <laughs> as um, Conan and Billy um, find out that these black stones are probably more more valuable than they um, actually thought thought they were. And at the end of the book, we have a um, holy man cutting his throat uh, for the black stones, and Conan and Billy making a run for it before all the, all the uh, people in control of that village um, chase them down and get those black stones off of them. So we have um, the beginning of issue number 20. There's a 
find armor. I thought that was pretty decent. Yeah, beginning of the book, they are they're hiding out in the forest from these uh, villagers who want to um, kill them. They're the black stones. I thought well, they didn't just do a deal, really. You know, give give us a few quid and you can have the bloody things. But there we go. Uh, it begins with a uh, quite a sweet little story. Conan kind of telling his girlfriend a story. Now, I say a sweet story. It's actually a, quite a gruesome story about um, a young boy freezing to death in the forest. <laughs> so you know, in, in keeping with, with Conan, is um, you might think it's going to get all romantic there, and um, and Brian would um, like reels it back and shows you, no, this isn't romantic. This is Conan telling his, his girlfriend half realities of life. That's a really sweet page, talking about the artwork. That page there. Bloody light. Bit of reflection there. Take a word for it, it's pretty sweet. Where's his reflection come from, anyway? Anyway, so they're, they're in the forest, and they have um, some wild warriors um, attacking them, trying to get these black stones off them. Um, Conan Blitz hide up a tree. And chuck stones on the heads. <laughs> you got to remember, although they're a, they're a couple, they're a very, very violent couple. I think a uh, a pirate version of Bonnie and Clyde. That's what they are. So it's it's not it's not a, a liberal do-gooder Conan. He's not a um, a hipster Conan. He's still to he's still Conan. He's a he's a tough dude, and um, he will kill you to well, he just kill you. That's all. He doesn't even reason him. He'll just kill you, and then the girl he's hanging out with has pretty much the same attitude, you know. She wants your stuff, she'll kill you for it. So not nice people. You wouldn't really want to meet him in the pub. And he certainly want to, wouldn't want to offend the bullets, that's for sure. Anyway, um, they get chased down by um, some men and horses. Perhaps those black stones, remember? Uh, Conan gets caught, where he's flying off his horse. And bullets. They, they split up, you see. And the lich who actually has the stones, she gets caught as well. And there we have the end panel. She's in, a, in the uh, in the lake, being drowned, and she decides to open up the case which holds the black stones. And what happens when she opens it up? It's a scene, a scene in, in Pulp Fiction, actually. What's in there? I won't tell you. Buy the comment for yourself and find out what happens when Blitz opens the uh, the pouch which um, contains these um, black stones, these ancient artifacts that everyone's so bothered about. And at the end of the book we have this um, this priestess woman talking about the black stones and talking about um, these foreigners who have robbed her. And again at the end there's a big surprise to do with the black stones. A reveal on the last panel which I will not talk to you about. Hmm, I'm such a tease. Yeah, so what do I think of the book um, overall? I think it was, the, uh, the art was distinctive. I think it was um, it different but good. Um, like I said before, it didn't detract from the actual story. I liked the, uh, the narration of the story, the, uh, the voiceover that um, told you as a reader what was happening in the story. Uh, the characters weren't sympathetic, but um, Conan's not supposed to be sympathetic. He's um, Conan the Barbarian. And there's a you know, clue in the name, the Barbarian. He's a Barbarian. Pirate Barbarian, but still still a Barbarian. I didn't find his relationship with Billet um, uh, too wishy-washy, too liberal nonsense. I, I found it, um, like I said before, like a uh, romance between um, Bonnie and Clyde. Two nutters. <laughs> so um, overall, um, issue... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put them together. Issue 19 and issue 20. I'll show you the, the uh, number 20. Yes, it's, it's out now. Issue 19 and 20 um, of the uh, Blackstones, part 1 and part 2. The next issue for part 3 of the Blackstones will be the concluding, conclu concluding part of the arc. Uh, so far, very good. Um, I wasn't um, expecting what happened at the end. It was a nice surprise. It went somewhere that I wasn't expecting it. So check it out for yourself. I think you'll like it. Conan is not a wimp in this book. But that's Conan the Barbarian for me. I'll give it a... Uh, let's see. I'll give it a strong 9 out of 10. I probably would have given it a 10 out of 10. But uh, the art isn't isn't quite top notch, although it's it's still decent. So nine out of ten for me for Conan the Barbie in twenty. Um, issue issue nineteen, is it? Yeah. Issue nineteen, I I'll, I'll probably give that a an eight eight point five out of ten. That's uh, just because this one was a bit stronger because it had that fantastic surprise um, at the end. So that's it for me.
enjoy your comics, let me know what you think of the video, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do, I, I do appreciate it. Okay, that's it for me, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.